Well, Minnesota Public Radio is bringing music into classrooms all over the state with their Class Notes program. Reporter Sherelle Moore explains in this week's Golden Apple. How are songs made? Where does music come from? All the questions a kid can think of about melodies and harmonies are being answered. Thanks to Classical Minnesota Public Radio's Class Notes program. Two years ago, we put together a program for Minnesota Public Radio's Class Notes program where we bring new music by Minnesota composers into elementary schools and perform them and talk about the pieces and talk about what composers do with the students. The group, The Dream Songs Project, has been traveling to different schools all over our Lakeland viewing area with NPR. The Class Notes program works with both middle and elementary school students. Older kids usually focus on writing and composing, while things get a little more active for the younger kids. The littler kids, we really want to give them more interaction with us, more times that they can move so they don't start getting too wiggly, they don't start getting too bored or distracted. The songs performed at J.W. Smith Elementary School explored topics like trains, animals, and emotions. I love when I can pop up and I see the kids that are like so engaged and it might be that the connection is just that they haven't been so up close next to somebody performing or for sure they've probably not been exposed to music exactly like this. Class notes give students access to the musicians and at the end they even get to ask all the questions they want. I think the big takeaway that I that we want to get people the students to think about is where does music even come from, that there, there are people involved in the process of making music. And on some occasions, those questions spark an interest that some students may not have been aware of before. There was a little girl yesterday who told us after the program that she writes her own songs, and Joe said, well, that means you're a composer, and it was like a light bulb, you know, goes off. She says, yeah. Reporting of Bemidji with this week's Golden Apple, Shrell Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.